tonight. Your shows, give me your show times, Mike. Show times are um, wow. I eight think, and eleven, right? I think it's. I think it is eight. It's either seven and ten or eight or eleven. Right. I remember hearing it. Eight 11. or eleven. Yeah. I, I don't know the times, but I'm pretty sure the Marat. You know what I'm saying? If you call down there, they can give you the times. Mm -hmm. But uh, tickets are still available, but they're going like hotcakes, baby, and it's, it's the thing to do. You know what I'm saying? It's Circle City Classic, and you got your homeboy, Mike Epps, in town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and see, a lot of folks, when they come into town, they forget yeah. Mike is from town. Yeah, I'm from and, town. And so when you come here, you definitely represent. Now, your movies, man, I mean, you... They call you the scene stealer. Is that what they call me? Because every time you get in any movie, what? when you walk in the scene, yeah. that's just, it's over. Yeah, well, a lot of the movies ain't supposed to go that way, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know, God, God, God looked out for me and gave me a talent, Tony, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I just rise to it, man, and, you know, uh, where a lot of people mistake me at, in, not only in comedy business, just in life, I'm just one of them dudes you underestimate all the time, mm -hmm. and you know, um, and, one, and one thing I learned about that is you should never underestimate no one, Right. and make sure you give everybody the 100 ups props, you know what right. I'm saying, because you don't know who you're dealing with. So that's what I run into a lot, mm -hmm. especially in Hollywood, you right. know what I mean? I don't run around and toot my horn too much mm -hmm. and be Hollywood and be in those spots, so they don't know where I'm coming from, so they get in the movie with me. And right. Think because they got more money than me, they about to run me over. Right. Woo! With Man. that camera, come on. Because I, because I, well, when, what was the movie? Uh, when you were Will Smith. Oh, yeah. And you were at the end of the movie, actually in the in the closing credits. Yeah, if you blink your eye, you'll miss me if you walk out. My, <laughs> and, and I said, I said to myself, he should have been in the whole movie. I know, man. You know, hey, I'd be just fortunate to get them little shots right there. You know right. what I mean? I, yeah, man, I'm thankful for that, you know, but, I, you know, I got a pretty good career. You know, I've been in the business now for about 17 years and uh, straight out of the streets in Indianapolis, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I got three movies coming out, one with Ice Cube, we hooked back up. Right. And did another movie called Janky Promoters that'll be out this spring. Oh, that'll be hot. Yeah, it should be good. And um, I have another movie coming out. I'm, I'm actually in a Rest in Peace Bernie Mac's movie that's coming out. Oh, okay. I had a couple scenes with Bernie Mac in this new movie that's coming out with him and Sam Jackson. Right. So I'm just trying to stay busy, Tony, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, try to make sure Obama win, because if he don't win, they're going to tear the city up. <laughs> they're going to tear the country up, I'm telling you. The guys that was out there looting during the Rodney King riots, they're getting their shoes on right now. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit more with Mike Epps, who's in town. He's going to be at the comedy show. He's got it tonight at the Murat Theater. Two shows, 8 and 11 o'clock. If you don't have your tickets, make sure you get your tickets. But we're going to talk more right here in the Lunch Break Lounge with Mike Epps on 106.7 TLC.